Hey guys, that's all I ever say in the beginning of my videos. Anyways, you guys may have noticed in some of my recent videos I have been wearing this Apple Watch upon my wrist. And I haven't really talked about it. So today I decided I'm going to review my Apple Watch. Anyways, let's get started. So here I have my Apple Watch. On th this this is usually what you see whenever you raise your hand. It's basically called the watch face. So you're able to customize it. It's force touch. You have a whole bunch of different options to choose from, from digital to analog to random pictures to even Mickey Mouse. I usually like to use this watch face because it shows digital time. You're able to add some nice little customizations. So what I have right here is the time. I have the dates. I have my calendar events, which I actually don't have anything in my calendar right now. Where am I even going? Um, I got the weather. I got my activity, which we'll get to in a minute. And I have my battery life. I should probably charge it. They call these complications, and there are actually a lot more complications you can add if you wish. I could just hold down, I can force touch, customize. I can add like a moon phase, stock, stopwatch, sunrise and sunset, which is also kind of cool, but I don't have any room. The next thing I want to get to is activity. Like most smartwatches and wristbands, the Apple Watch tracks your exercise. So let's tap right into here. So this is my activity for the day. The red one means how many calories I burned. I haven't really moved around much today, so I didn't really burn that much calories. The green ring shows how much I exercise. So I actually got a lot of exercise in today. And this shows how many hours you were standing for. Now there's actually a little misconception. Now I used to think it meant like I've been standing for three full hours, but no, it doesn't mean that. It means that three hours out of the day, I actually got up out of my chair and stood. I actually had my watch off for a while, so it's a little inaccurate. You're also able to swipe up and it'll show you how many steps you took today and, and how much miles you moved in total. Now if I hit this digital crown right here, you probably can't see but it'll bring me to my home page it's all it's kind of like the home button on the iphone except what's cool about this is you can scroll in or out in or out it's kind of useful because it's hard to scroll on a very very small screen so you can scroll up and down there's also a button right here which will take you to what it calls your favorite people so right here i got my house phone right here so you can either call it or send in a message now i obviously can't text my house phone since it's a landline so i'm just gonna scroll all the way here to my brother i'm gonna send him a little message so since you're not able to type on the watch, so the Apple Watch gives you some alternative methods to texting. You can either use some suggested quotes, I can say hello, what's up, on my way, okay, sure, no problem, thanks, blah 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 blah. I'm also able to speak into my watch. Hello, I'm filming an Apple Watch review and I'm using you to test out the texting feature. So here, here I have it and I can press done. Oh my god, I spoke a little too much. Okay, so I pressed done a little too late, but that's okay. It's for science, for scientific purposes only. So I can send it as an audio message, or I can send it as a text message. But for the sake of science and for testing purposes, I'm going to send them the audio message. The third alternative to texting is I'm able to send him, uh, I can send him an emoji, so I can either use an animated emoji, so we got all the happy faces here, and love, sunglasses, crying, anger, or you can swipe here and it has a whole bunch of animated heart emojis, heart pumping, hearts going into one, heart breaking, swipe again, and it has a whole bunch of animated hand emojis, I'm gonna send them this, or you can just send them regular emojis. Also like the iPhone Also like the iPhone, if I hold down on the digital crown, I can speak to Siri. Hello Siri, you probably do not understand what I'm saying because I'm making no sense, I'm just babbling random words. For the sake of science. I can't believe it captured all of that. The watch has a whole bunch of applications. It has the standard i as the standard pre-installed applications, you can download your own third-party applications. We got an alarm clock, we got a world clock, we got a stopwatch. Also, if I'm exercising, I'm able to use the exercise app and I can and I can set how many calories I want to burn. Oh my god, I'm just, I've just screwed this whole workout up. I just screwed everything up, haven't I? Anyways, the Apple Watch is amazing. There are a lot of different features on there. But this video is long enough. I'm not going to talk about every single little app and feature on here. Also, plus there are a lot of third-party apps you're able to install. So you can do a lot of things with this little device on your arm. I'm just fascinated by this because when I was younger, I always wanted my watch to do cool stuff. The actual model that's on my hand is the Apple Watch Sports 38mm Space Gray. And I actually really like it. And it's actually very easy to change the band on the watch. There's actually this one band I really like, but it's $149. What? Anyways, I'm gonna go. Goodbye, guys.